you live, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jack Bloomsma. And I'm Elliot Hartford. Um, uh, and then a big thank you to uh, Jacob and Zach for filling in as anchors last week. Me and Elliot had some tef- technical difficulties that we don't need to talk about. But anyway, um, so uh, we have our first round of the playoffs tonight against Faith here in Tulare, starting at 7 o'clock. It'd be really good if you can come out and support, our, support us with that. And then, uh, yeah, I'll send it to Jake uh, with the weather. Okay, for your seven-day forecast in Tulane this week, we got, for tomorrow, we have 45, the high of 45, low of 30. Saturday's a high of 53, low of 43. Sunday's a high of 52, low of 41. Got a chance of rain that day, too. And then uh, Monday is a high of 65, low of 49. Tuesday's a high of 66, low of 40. Uh, Wednesday is a high of 59, low of 33. Thursday is a high of 56 and a low of 36. For a Hitchcock this week, we got Friday is a high of 51, low of 30. Saturday is a high of 53, low of 41. Sunday we got a high of 46 and low of 39, chance of rain. Uh, Monday is a high of 54 and low of 43. Tuesday is a high of 66, low of 40. Wednesday is a high of 60, low of 33. And then Thursday, we got a high 57 and a low 36. Back to you. Thank you, Jacob, for that nice weather update. It's supposed to be a chilly one. It's going to be a chilly one tonight. We got snow yesterday. That was pretty okay, I suppose. Yeah, so make sure you guys bundle up and please come support us. And now to uh, Dryer for interviewing the kids in elementary. Hi, I'm Barry Close for the HTTV Live. I'm here with Soya Miller. So, Soya, what grade are you in? Six. Six. What, what's your favorite uh, subject? Math. Math. Uh, what's something you've learned new in math? Um, to graph. To graph, okay. How is sports going? Pretty good. Pretty good? Okay. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do in recess? Just play basketball. Play basketball? Sounds nice. And now I'm here with Clayton Heisinger. So, Clayton, what grade are you in? First. First grade. What's your favorite subject to do in school? Gym. Gym. What's your favorite thing to do in recess? Play freeze tag. Play freeze tag? That sounds fun. And now I'm here with Asher Abram. So, Asher, what grade are you in? Third. Third grade. Uh, what's your favorite subject in school? Math. Math. Have you learned anything new in math? Uh, division. Division. Uh, did you do sports this year? Football. Football. How was that? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. That's nice. What's your favorite thing to do in recess? Football. Football. We got a football player. Uh, thank you for the interviews, Brad. That's pretty good. Um, uh, and then we're going to send it to sports here in a second, but before that, I just wanted to mention that uh, Midco Sports Network, they uh, covered our last couple of games, and uh, after our game against Avon, they said that uh, we have a, they think we have a pretty good shot at making it. Obviously, that doesn't mean anything. We have to go out and prove it and win our games, but it's just kind of a nice little upbeat thing to know that people are cheering for us. Yeah, underdogs. Underdogs, exactly. All right, I'll send it to Zach with sports. Now for your sports recap. Uh, this last Thursday, uh, the Hitchcock Tuller Patriots battled the Faith Longhorns uh, in the first round of playoffs. They ended up winning 38-0, to zero, and now they will travel for the second round of playoffs to uh, Gettysburg to play Potter County. Uh, the, the girls' volleyball uh, traveled to Ipswich last week. Uh, they had a very impressive game. They won that game 3-1. to one. Uh, this last Tuesday, uh, they played Sanborn Central Woonsocket in Hitchcock. They ended up losing that one in three. And uh, tomorrow, they will travel to Sully Buttes to play the Sully Buttes Chargers at 6.30. So tune in for that. And for cross country, Ella Johnson last week uh, got 18th in the region cross country meet. And she will now be heading to Sioux Falls for the state cross country meet tomorrow. So uh, give Ella your support. Good luck, Ella. Now I'm here with Mr. Opp. Uh, Mr. Opp, you had a good game against uh, Ipswich the other night. 
Yeah, it was a great, great win for our team. Um, going up, they were, I believe, 12 and 12 going into the game, and um, so it was a great win. Nice, nice win. We we saw contributions from everybody. Uh, you know, Caitlin Trader had her usual night at about 19 kills and uh, a double double on digs. Uh, Bethany Weeby came up big for us at the serve line. I believe she was like 28, 20, 28 of 28 from the serve line with a couple aces, and uh, uh, Ella Johnson chipped in a few kills with eight and. Um, just a nice all-around team effort, I thought, defensively and offensively for our team, and um, got a nice win against a, a decent opponent. All right. Uh, so you got Sully Buttes coming up this Friday? Yeah, Sully Buttes Friday. We go out there. That's always a tough place to play um, after a nice two-hour road trip. Um, you know, I haven't seen a lot of film on them yet, but I, you know, I think they're a little, about kind of what, how we like to play. You know, I think it should be a good match. Um, you know, they're pretty young by the look of their roster, so very comparable to us. Like I said, it should be a good match. Hopefully it'll be a – we can go out there get a win going into postseason here coming up. All right. Any other upcoming games you want to talk about? Um, next week we have our last regular season game. will be against Weston Springs, and we saw them in the conference tournament. And, uh, of course, tournament play, they only go best out of three, and they took us to three after we beat them the first set and lost the second set pretty close by, pretty close. So – Next Tuesday, best out of five match. Um, you know, I could see that being a pretty evenly matched, uh, um, a pretty evenly matched a game. So I'm assuming you know, we might see a four or five setter next week. I hope not. I hope it comes out three three o us. But you know, um, like I said, we just need to play good volleyball here down the stretch and see what we can do going into postseason. All right. Well, good luck. Thanks. I'm here with Mr. Salmon. Uh, Mr. Salmon, you had your last game of the season against Avon last week. How'd that go? You know, we ended up losing two, by two points. Uh, it was a hard-fought battle by our team, and, and uh, yes, we all wanted to win, uh, but it at least showed what we could do against a top team in the state, so we are excited. All right, and tonight you have uh, first-round playoffs against Faith. Any words about that? I don't have a lot of words, so we don't know a lot about them. Uh, we've heard some they may have some possible injuries they're dealing with, the same thing that we're dealing with, missing a few players, so... Um, we expect to win, but uh, but it's playoff time, so they're going to come out and play hard just like we are. So, All right. Well, good luck, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you for that interview, Zach, and that sports update. Um, tomorrow, Friday the 22nd, school is in session. And then uh, at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow night, our Hitchcock Tula Patriots volleyball team will be traveling to Sully Buttes. That starts at 6.30. And then on the 23rd, Oral and Turp in Madison. They leave at 6 a.m. for that. And then uh, uh, the 23rd is State Cross Country for Ella Johnson. She's running in Sioux Falls, so that'll be pretty cool for her. We'll cheer her on. And then on the 25th, uh, National FFA Convention. Uh, I think we're sending Brenda Mole, um, um, Harley Nielsen, Michael Nielsen. Cooper Cole. And Cooper Cole with uh, Mr. Gross to that, so that should be good for them. And then... Uh, Stuff like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, on the 26th at 4.30 p.m., the junior high volleyball play is Westington Springs. And then varsity is at 6.30. Um, and then the, we have FFA and Hoven that I think just got canceled, I yeah. think. And then we, if tonight goes well, we'll have playoffs next Thursday. And we don't know where yet, so we'll keep going for that. And then he's got birthdays. So I always have birthdays, you yeah. know. So happy birthday to Carson Van Buskert, Caden with, uh, Logan Wirtz, Reese Kustemeyer, uh, Travis Man Clark, and Adela Binger. Happy birthday, guys. Anyway, uh, yeah. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of HDTV Live. I am Ron Burgundy. And I'm Brian Fantana. Same class, H. Cocktail,